No, there, there we are, there we are. Okay, we're gonna begin recording this. So this is the exercise we wanna try today, all right? The first one. The first term of an arithmetic sequence is negative 10, all right? We have the first term, but we don't have the second, the third, the fourth, no, we don't have those. We have the seventh term. The seventh term is negative one, all right? This is how we do it. This is how we approach. Um, there are a lot of ways of solving these type of exercises. My way is a little bit more graphic. Take a look at this. We know that a sequence is an organization of numbers. So we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven, right? These are the, the numbers. So we let's say this is a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, and a seven. Right? Those are the positions of our numbers. Now, we have the first one, right? According to the exercise, the first one is negative 10. Is that correct? We have negative 10 in the first one. We don't have the second, the third. We don't have those. We have the seventh. The seventh is negative one, right? Those are the numbers that we have. The question is, okay, what is the difference then? What would the difference be? Uh, ding, 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 difference, position, position. We have two ways of doing this. We have two ways. I just found out about the second one. We have two ways. I'm going to show you the first one, and then I'm going to show you the second one. In the first way, we can deduce these numbers. We can deduce them. We know there is a difference in common. And by deducing, we can just work our way down from negative 10 to negative 1 until we get it. So if we say, for example, the difference is 2, we can say negative 2 plus 2, so we have negative 8. Did you see? Plus 2, so we have negative 6. Plus 2, negative 4. Plus 2, negative 2. Plus 2, 0. Plus 2, 2. Now, did you see what I did? I decided a difference and try to see if doing that difference over and over give me this number. That is what I try to do. That is one approach. That difference didn't work. I said the difference was two, but that difference didn't work. Let's try with another one. How about one? So negative 10 plus one, that is negative nine. Plus one, negative eight. Plus one, negative seven. Plus one, negative six. Plus one, negative five. Plus one. Negative four, nah, didn't work also. It didn't work. We can continue with this work, but it, maybe, maybe we hit the number, maybe we don't, and it will take a lot of time. That is process number one. Let's jump into process number two. Why don't we just use the formula? Remember, we have a formula to find the number in any position. This is the first number plus n minus 1 times the difference. We have the formula to find any number in any position. Any number in any position. And look at this. We have one position, the first one, and we have the seventh position. So what we can do, what we can do here is simply replace the values that we have. Look. If we say that a sub n is a sub 7, so the seventh position, we can say that this is negative 1, right? By doing this, we are saying that n equals 7 because we are finding the seventh position. Look, a sub n, a sub 7, right? So n equals 7. We are finding the seventh position. If we replace the rest of the values, we have negative 10 plus... 7 minus 1 times the difference. Did you see what I did? And now, we all, all we have to do is isolate the getting our difference. Again, I am saying a sub n is the second value that we have, a sub 7. The value of a sub 7 is negative 1, which is why I'm putting negative 1 here. By doing so, I know that the value n is the, the value n has to be seven. Has to be seven. Because I am talking about the seventh 
position. So I just replace that. All right, if I do these calculations here, I have negative one equals negative one plus six times D, right? Isolating give us, this is what? Plus two, so zero equals 6D, right? And then we have a problem, right? Did I, did I mistake in the values? Which first term arithmetic sequence is negative 10. The seventh is negative one. No, that is correct. Ah, negative 10, sorry, negative 10. Here, negative 10. That was the mistake. There we go, negative 10. Negative 10, all right, negative 10. That was the mistake. All right, so if I isolate, negative 10 is positive, so we have nine now. All right, that was the mistake. All right, look at that. That was the mistake. Now, to simplify this, pass the six to the other side. This is nine over six equals D. And if we put it in a calculator, this is what? Three over two, one point five, right? One point five. So look at that. Now we now we know the difference. So if we do one point five and then plus one point five and then plus one point five, I assure you, we will get to negative one without having to try to see and get if I get it or not. Okay. Beautiful. Be beautiful. All right, guys, that, that is the way I enjoy. I just discovered this one. I was gonna show you another one here, but I feel this one is a lot better just by using the formula, you know, just, just by using the formula, okay? Beautiful. All right, that's how you find the difference. Let's take a look at the rest of the question. So find the value of the common difference. We just got it, right? The next one, find the 15th term of the sequence. All right, that one is pretty simple, right? Finding the first, the fifteenth is just using this formula again. Let me do it in here. We are looking for a fifteen. If we replace the values, we're gonna have negative ten, the first element, plus n minus one, so fifteen minus one, so fourteen times the difference. But the difference, we know the difference. The difference is one point five. So time 1.5 times 1.5. We can just put this in a calculator and get the results. Let's see if you do it faster than me. Can anybody say, it, please, how much is this? Please, in the chat. All right. Uh, 14, 1, 14 plus 14, 21, 30, uh, 11. Did I do it right or not? 14, half is 7. So 21 minus 10, 11. Yes. Did I do it right? No? Anybody? No, nobody? Thank you. Somebody said yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. So 11. All right. I'm going to stop the recording here. Remember, any more questions, just ask.